So I'm in San Francisco and I'm meeting my daughter for lunch at Judelicious, which is like a vegan restaurant in the sunset. <laughs> this is my vlog now, bitches. Sorry, you're gonna have to bleep that out then. Or maybe not. Do you bleep out your bad words? Uh, no, well, I don't know how to bleep out bad words. Okay. So keep it clean, honey. Ew, don't ever say that again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're getting food. Wow, look at that. See, I never have fancy camera angles. You sh I should work with you more often. Thank you. I thought you guys might like to see what we're eating. So I got like the a vegan burrito here. I got an acai bowl. Acai bowl. Um, yes, it it's good? actually really good. But it's all in my teeth, so I don't, even, I don't even care. Okay, so the food was good. Emma had to take off for a meeting. And I am now going to Java Beach to see if I can get a half-calf coffee. Um, and then I'm gonna head over and uh, see if I can find something to paint. Maybe ship something. Okay, so I'm out here at Ocean Beach and uh, it's really flat and long and there's not a lot of protection so the wind is pretty, is pretty strong. I know there's a painting here, I just have to figure out what it is. So I've decided to come up and explore the dunes and maybe see if there's a painting to be done up here. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty windy down on the beach, but it's pretty windy up here too. So I'm just going to keep looking around. Okay, well I'm not really seeing anything that's super exciting, but I'm here, so I'm going to make the most of it. Well, somebody just yelled my name out of their car as they were driving by on the Great Highway. I didn't recognize who it was. Comment down below if that was you. So basically, I'm interested in some of the patterns of, um, of water over the sand there. It's creating sort of a radial pattern that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to set up and see what happens. plot thickens. I, I looked in my backpack and I'm out of paper towels completely. I always have like a rag, like a dish rag in there, so I'm gonna have to use that. So just as I expected, the wind is continuing to pick up. <laughs> My easel almost lifted off the ground, um, so I've weighted it down. I've never had the Anderson lift off the ground. So um, I'm working really quickly and we'll see what happens. So here's what I've got so far and I just, I don't even care about accurate colors. Um, I just wanted to cover the panel and now I'm gonna start you know, tuning up the colors. Sometimes, 
So time for another update. Not only did I forget to reload my backpack with paper towels, I'm also, I didn't put white paint in there. <laughs> oh my God. So um, anyway, I'm gonna just put in the waves and then call it quits and then try to pack out of here, which is gonna be a real challenge. Okay, so I think I'm all finished or I'm done. I've done as much as I can do, but now I have to try to figure out <laughs> how to get my stuff out of here because if I try to take the panel off of the easel, it's gonna just blow out of my hands. So I think I'm gonna have to walk the whole thing to a sheltered area and then take it all apart. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah, this is turning into quite an adventure. Okay, so I finally made it back to the car and uh, that was that was rough because um, it got so windy that, like I said, I could not take the panel off of the easel. So I had to find a place. <laughs> I had to walk the whole setup to a place where I could, you know, safely take the panel off. So it was a long walk. And then when I took the panel off, I set it down, but there was still, this kind of very fine sand blowing and it it sort of dusted the whole panel so maybe I'll let it dry and then and then try to like somehow just lightly rub off the sand I'm not sure if it's gonna work it may it may have it may be a lost cause but um, yeah but it wasn't altogether unpleasant while I was working on it uh, surprisingly um, but that's definitely the windiest I've ever um, painted in so I'm going to go home and take a look at it and see how it looks. Not sure if you can see this, but there's a fine dusting of sand on here. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to sand it with this like uh, this sanding sponge and see what happens. Okay, so this is what I came up with. And it looks like uh, the sanding worked pretty well. Um, I'd need to kind of rework it because it did scuff up the surface slightly. But um, but the painting really wasn't finished anyway. I kind of had to cut it short because things were getting kind of out of control. So yeah, maybe I'll just go back uh, on a less windy day and kind of rework it. So I definitely need to make a more portable wet panel carrier, um, you know, for a 16 by 20s. Uh, the one I have, I have in my car and then I would just usually like take the panel off of the easel, walk it to the car and put it in. But that's not practical for times when I'm actually parked too far away to kind of walk the panel and just leave my stuff especially out there on ocean beach in that kind of wind i wouldn't want to just like leave all my equipment while walking the panel back to the car so um that's something i'm going to work on in a future video is i'll you know devise some kind of very portable lightweight wet panel carrier for a 16 by 20 panel i'll definitely go back there but you know not on that kind of a windy day so uh, but as usual, thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you in the next video.